Welcome to the University of North Carolina at Pembroke, home of the Braves. I'm Bull Slavin, Assistant Athletic Director for Marketing Partnerships. University of North Carolina at Pembroke was founded in March of 1887 as the Croatan Normal School with the sole purpose of educating American Indian teachers. More than 130 years later, UNC Pembroke is home to 41 undergraduate degree programs and 17 graduate degree programs with more on the way. Brave Nation is one of the most diverse institutions in the nation with students, faculty, and staff with differing attributes. UNC Pembroke has reported record enrollment for the past two academic years. In 2019-2020, UNC Pembroke's enrollment was 7,698 students here in Brave Nation. Lumbee Hall is the main administrative building for UNC Pembroke's campus. Inside, you'll find Brave Central, your one-stop shop to make UNC Pembroke your home. Lumbee Hall also houses the Chancellor's Office, undergraduate admissions, financial aid, and the Registrar's Office for your convenience. As we move towards the north end of campus, we come across our first academic building, the Dial Humanities Building, home to the English and History Departments, a building that all incoming freshmen and students will experience on their way to fulfilling their graduation requirements. Don't fret, however, as UNCP prides itself on the personal touch between its faculty and students as evidenced by an 18 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Construction began in February on the $36 million school of business, which is scheduled to open in the spring of 2021. The school of business is AASCB accredited, which is a designation that less than 5% of business schools worldwide achieve. The new school of business is slated to include a food court, study spaces, an auditorium, market style trade room, in addition to classrooms. As one of the top five majors on UNC Pembroke's campus, brave students are being set up for success. Our final academic building on this side of the street is the Sampson Academic Building, home to psychology, sociology, and criminal justice. Criminal justice is one of the top majors here on UNC Pembroke's campus and is also an accredited program. As we come to the north end of campus, you'll notice village apartments one of two on-campus apartment complexes that upperclassmen can choose from in their housing selection process. Lumbee River EMC Stadium is home to UNC Pembroke Soccer, one of 16 NCAA Division II athletic programs here on the University of North Carolina Pembroke's campus and marks the end of the north end of Maine campus. Located diagonally across the road from LREMC Stadium is Cypress Hall, one of five residence halls here on University of North Carolina Pembroke's campus and is the newest among the bunch. Cypress Hall is suite style with four individuals sharing an open common space per suite. As we head back towards the main part of campus, we come across our newest academic building here on the campus of UNC Pembroke, the Weinstein Health Science Building. Weinstein is home to the nursing department and social work department, two of the top five most popular majors here on UNC Pembroke's campus. Weinstein is also home to two popular eateries, Papa John's and Einstein's Bagel. The nursing program is accredited as well and also houses a interactive simulator. Directly behind the Weinstein Health Science Building is the brand new Brave Health Center that includes counseling and psychological services and student health services. The University and Department of Athletics take mental health extremely serious and provide the appropriate resources to ensure student athlete success. In the heart of this block is the UNCP softball field and Sammy Cox field, home to UNCP softball and baseball. Fan attendance is top 25 perennially at UNCP baseball games as local community and students are avid supporters of Braves athletics. With the success of both the baseball and softball programs, along with the rapid growth of campus, a vast renovation of all three complexes is in the near future. The giant cement building ahead of us on the left is the Givens Performing Arts Center, a 1,600-seat auditorium that plays home to national touring shows such as the Tony Award-winning show The Color Purple just this past season. The English E. Jones Center is home to the Department of Kinesiology, as well as the Department of Athletics. Inside the English E. Jones Center, there is a general fitness room, the athletic training room for athletes only, 
an athlete's only weight room, along with racquetball courts, the auxiliary gym, and Lumbee Guarantee Bank Court, home to men's and women's basketball, UNCP volleyball, and UNCP wrestling. To check out more on the weight rooms and the athletic training room, make sure to check out our other videos on UNCP Braves YouTube page. As we exit the Jones Center, you'll see the Tommy Hawk statue along with the University Center. When you're walking across campus, make sure to rub Tommy Hawk's beak for good luck. Inside the University Center, you'll find the cafeteria along with the Chick-fil-A and the Hawk's Nest game room. The game room includes a fully functioning bowling alley along with billiard tables and ping pong tables. And with over 100 active and registered student organizations, along with active fraternity and sorority life, here at UNC Pembroke, we offer student athletes the complete college experience. As we head towards the center of campus, you can see Grace P. Johnson Stadium, home of UNCP football and track and field. UNCP football is the place to be when you call Pembroke home. Next year's schedule is available on uncpbraves.com as the Braves prepare for their first year as an associate member of the Mountain East Conference. At the head of the quad sits the School of Education along with Belk and North Halls. The School of Education hosts the education program which is another one of our top majors here on UNC Pembroke's campus. The quad with its man-made water features provides a quaint place for students to study during their time here on UNC Pembroke's campus. Another popular location for students and faculty alike is Starbucks, located on the front of D.F. Lowry. D.F. Lowry also houses the Center for Student Success. Center for Student Success includes tutoring and the writing center, both commonly used by our student athletes and teams here on UNC Pembroke's campus, providing a great resource to allow our athletes to achieve their academic success. Academic success is key as athletics holds a three-tenth higher GPA than the rest of campus as of this past semester. Adjacent to DF Lowry is Locklear and Moore Hall. Locklear is home to the UNCP Art Department where students perfect their skills in printmaking, design, sculpture, and more. In fact, a lot of the art pieces that you see here on campus, including these ones, are in fact designed by current and former UNC Pembroke students. Moore Hall is home to the music department, which also includes our friends in the Spirit of the Carolinas marching band, who are at every home football game, along with members who participate in the pep band at every home basketball game. Moore Hall also hosts an auditorium used for small student performances, along with some distinguished speakers that come and visit UNC Pembroke's campus. Located adjacent to the water feature, is the newly renovated Mary Livermore Library that includes interactive study spaces along with technology available for rent. Here in front of the library is the Jones Footbridge, which signifies students' journey as they enter and exit campus as they'll eventually graduate during spring commencement in the quad located on the other side of the library. Our next academic building is Oxendine. Oxendine is a building that every student will experience during their time here on UNC Pembroke's campus in order to fulfill their graduation requirements. As Oxendine is home to chemistry, biology, computer science, and the mathematics programs. The final stop on our tour is the oldest and most recognizable building on UNC Pembroke's campus, Old Main. Old Main is home to the Museum of the Southeast American Indian and it's something I truly encourage you to visit during your time here on UNC Pembroke's campus. It helps tell the story and tradition of Pembroke and the local Lumbee tribe. Old Main also houses our mass communications program, our American Indian studies programs, and our geology and geography programs. I truly hope you enjoyed your tour of UNC Pembroke's campus and we're so glad that you're considering calling Brave Nation home. For more information, please visit uncbbraves.com and visit the Recruits drop down page. I can't wait to have you on UNC Pembroke's campus. Go Braves and I'll see you at game day.